Hi, I'm Chris Hiley, the music product specialist with Zivix, and uh, I want to tell you about this app called Animoog. Animoog is a synthesizer app made by the guys at Moog Synthesizer. It's been around for a while and has one of the kind of classic iOS synthesis apps that Jamstick works really well with it. Let me show you what it takes to get connected and start playing around with some sounds. So when I open up the app, the first thing that I want to do is make sure that the Jamstick is connected to the Animoog app. I'm going to go to the setup tab here and I have in my MIDI in window a couple of different selections. My Jamstick here is actually already connected, but a lot of times it'll default to the network session or off. If your Jamstick isn't visible in that MIDI in window, you can hit refresh and it'll rescan for what's available. I'm just going to go ahead and select Jamstick and I'm good to go and come back over to the XY pad. The interesting thing about Animoog is it's as much a visual synthesizer as it is an audio one, and you could see that by uh, what's going on with that XY pad screen right now. And it's actually a very complex synthesizer. You don't necessarily need to understand this, but basically each horizontal line of that grid is a different voice. You can select and mix and match voices there. Not necessarily need to understand how synthesis works to have fun with Animo right out of the bat because they've got presets. Uh, presets are right down here in the bottom left-hand corner of that XY screen. And I've got in this case, every expansion pack that's available uh, for Animoog uh, that I've downloaded as DLC. However, there's a bunch of great default settings. If I just come in here and go to keys, you can see in categories, now I've got a number of presets that are just available. If I just pick something here like SNH Forever, which stands for sample and hold, come back to the XY pad and play. Until I've got bunch of really interesting things happening both visually and audibly and I could just kind of scan through and start playing. You know one of the fun things that you can do is to open up another app like in this case I could open up the Jamstick Plus app and put in you know one of the Jamstick Plus sounds and because we're working with MIDI I'm going to get both sounds at the same time. just kind of cool and I can mix and match and layer them. It's a lot of fun. One thing that you may want to kind of take note of is in the envelope uh, parameter window, if you're hearing like a lot of decay that you don't care for, which is basic synthesis, if I click the amplitude envelope, kind of chop that down, now I'm going to get kind of more guitar performance. You don't necessarily have to make the changes or the edits, but you can if you want to. It's really a lot of fun. So if you've never played around with any synthesizer type sounds, Animoog is a great way to kind of get you engaged and get you started. And you don't necessarily have to know how it works to start doing things that sound really cool. I encourage you, go ahead and uh, download Animoog, get connected and start playing it, have some fun, make some cool noises like this.